If hookworms kill tens of thousands of people around the globe every year, why are some Kiwis knowingly infecting their bodies with them? It might sound literally hard to stomach, but there's growing evidence that they can be revolutionary healers in our gut. As Kiwi scientists explore the research, Matt Chisholm meets those who say the wee wrigglers have changed their lives, and he considers joining them. I'm just giving myself a Nikotor Americanus. It's a human hookworm. How many in there? Six. I'll feel a little tiny tingle, and then they go into your bloodstream. I'll just get you to take that on for me. Why not just then? Yep, that's good. And you cough them up like a little. <laughs> you don't even notice it. And then they go back down, you swallow them back down to your tummy, and that's where they live. And they breed there and have eggs. Did you just say that the hookworms are having sex inside you? Yeah, <laughs> I did say that. Do you think you're a weirdo? <laughs> Only in, the, in that respect does that other people might think so, but I'm not weird. I, I did a lot of reading around this, so I think the scientists are clear about it, that, that they do um, have good effects. How big could this be? Oh, enormous. One, they're cheap, they're reliable, they last many years. You can imagine one shot wonder for five years instead of pill popping. There is an ick factor here, though, isn't there? They don't look good under the microscope, you, these little buggers. Uh, yeah, yeah, when you're healthy and you're feeling all good, but I tell you, if you've got some of these horrible diseases, you will do anything to change your life. Tauranga's Jane Pucky, a mum, nurse, dancer, who has lived an active life. I did a lot of um, swimming and tennis and up and down the mount in you know, Mount Wanganui um, with my friends. Played a lot of tennis. I said that already, but yeah, I played a lot of tennis, yeah. Were you good at tennis? Yeah. Quite good. Yeah. You know, not top, but quite good. Ten years ago, though, at just 47, Jane started slowing down. I've got scleroderma with myositis, so it makes all your, your skin go quite hard and affects, it can affect your body organs. Um, and for me, the worst thing was I had a lot of fatigue and weakness. It's probably one of the worst autoimmune diseases because it can be fatal. How debilitating can it be? I'd have to stop once or twice coming up the stairs. I remember asking my son Gabriel to drive me to work so I wouldn't have to walk from the car park to the entrance. Like many autoimmune diseases, there is no cure for scleroderma. Jane had to manage her symptoms with steroids. They are not recommended long term. So I was eight years on up and down high doses of steroids, yeah. How desperate were you, if you like, for some kind of silver bullet? Oh, pretty desperate, yeah. I wanted to be back to my normal self. So she was always looking for a solution and discovered what's known as worm or helmet therapy in a Kiwi magazine. Curious, she dug a little deeper. Jane, you're a nurse. Initially, were you sceptical? Um, it did sound completely out there, yeah. So, so, but the more reading I did, the more I thought, well, actually, this makes a lot of sense, yeah. Sense based on the old friend's hypothesis. So some microbes that we've evolved with have become our old friends and they, we can't really live without them. The fact that we've lived with organisms in our gut for millions of years and without them, at least in the Western world, for only about 100. Microbes like Helmina, which are thought to be parasites, but they're not really. They're, they're, they can be mutualists, which means they give us benefit and we give them benefit. Hookworms can be fatal, can't they? in the third world when you've got malnourishment, children are getting massive, you know, th a thousand hookworms will be fatal for a child, yeah. You've got to control the dose, yeah. Jane eventually tracked down an overseas supplier online. To pay them, you actually pay by Bitcoin, and I just thought, well, that's just too weird, and I'm out. No, that's too weird. That was a step too far. That was a step too far. The hookworms are okay, but the Bitcoin... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yep. And then um, I read Lynn Jolly's story and it just made total sense and at that point I discovered this huge online community and all the information that they had about the success that that had. We're talking at least 200 Kiwis, 7,000 people around the world. 
self-medicating with hookworms. What's the online community like? Very responsible. I know that uh, there was a lot of new members from around the world after I did the interview. Um, the moderator called it the Lynn Jolly effect. So that was yeah, really cool. Palmerston North's Lynn Jolly, a Kiwi pioneer of helminth therapy. When I looked at this, I was so shocked and uh, I thought it was just desperate people doing desperate things that I shut it out of my mind. I couldn't cope with it. I just could not imagine that people would do this. What changed your mind? The amount of research that's gone on. I showed the research to my doctor. He had never heard of it um, before. He had said, but this makes complete sense. So he was interested, supportive. Lynn was diagnosed with autoimmune diseases, lupus and Sjogren's more than a decade ago. She lived with chronic fatigue. Was in bed for five days and um, really, really struggling. I reduced my hours, um, had to take it easy. I, I'm a fighter and I, every time I walked past bed, all I wanted was to be in bed. I was pretty angry. Where did you get your hookworms from? I bought them online. Um, there is a handful of providers around the world um, and, uh, yes, yeah, so they, I imported them. So how did you pay for them? Uh, Bitcoin. Mm. Were you familiar with that currency? No, but I am now. <laughs> <laughs> what are the rules and regulations around importing these hookworms? Mm. People need a licence to import. So do any Kiwis have licences? Not that I'm aware of. Um, so people just buy them online and they come through and, um, and sometimes they are stopped and it, it does happen on occasion. Lynn's little friends have always arrived. What was it like infecting yourself with these little parasites? Well, pretty freaky um, and a little bit of a stinging thing. It took about five months before I started to notice a change and then there was Oh, I can get through the whole morning without feeling like I'm carrying a 20 kilos on my back. But I just felt lighter, standing up stronger. Ah, oh, OK, you know, this feels good. <laughs> is it possible this is simply the placebo effect? Earlier on, I wondered that. And, you know, I was willing to take that. If all it was was ever this, and I'm cured because of a give it to me, it was such an easy fix that, um, yep, I'm sold. Uh, I couldn't care less. <laughs> but I do know my own body and, um, and you know, it's, it's working and it now has been working for such a length of time, I, I'm just completely convinced. The hookworms that have made a home in Lynn's body have opened up her world. With chronic fatigue, I couldn't have managed an, an, any international trip. So I've uh, since been to Morocco, uh, slept under the Sahara Desert, ridden a camel, went to Peru, uh, did some of the Inca Trail, uh, yeah, Machu Picchu, um, it's an, uh, eaten guinea pig. Um, Any good? Yeah, oh no, wouldn't, <laughs> no, <laughs> wouldn't recommend it. Lynn's hookworm recommendation though, sealed the deal for Jane. But once I got over the Bitcoin thing, that, that it just seemed like any other purchase you'd make online. Still, Jane had no way of knowing for sure if she actually received the hookworms she wanted. I knew in the back of my mind there was a small risk that it might not be what I was ordering. But I honestly thought that that risk was vanishingly small because of the thousands of people using it. Those self-treaters didn't put her wrong. From about five weeks, I noticed a huge difference in my skin on my hands, and the skin on my hands really softened. Prior to that, it had been quite hard, a little bit like wood, knocking on wood. I just have a lot more energy. I've got a good muscle strength. It's something that you, you need to treat every three months for two years, really, and you get the benefits. Jane's so impressed with the human hookworm, she's got her family on them too. I read it all myself, and it just made sense to me. Are the hookworms working? For Jane, definitely, yep. She couldn't smile properly, so now she can smile. Now Jane and her eagle-eyed husband, Roger, are growing their own. They mate inside you, and they produce eggs inside you, and the eggs comes, come out in your faeces. You leave them in a jar like that, and you leave that in your hot water cupboard for two weeks. And I spray them every now and again with a little bit of water. You harvest the eggs from the faeces. 
this is probably not a job for everyone. <laughs> yes, it doesn't bother me, and it's just my own poo. And why do you choose to incubate over import? Uh, I think it's the DIY <laughs> mentality, to be honest. Graham, these people who are self-medicating, they're not wacko the chook, are they? No, they're not wacko at all. After the break, the scientists trying to stack up hookworm therapy. Just in here like that. And I look at taking a dose of worms. Wellington, New Zealand. And a team of Kiwi scientists are beavering away, trying to establish the benefits of the human hookworm with hard science. This is an ancient relationship. It goes back millennia, millions of years. The Maligan Institute's director, Graham Legro, a straight shooter. Just think open sewers, we go to the toilet, we hunt, we, we breed, we live, we, we eat, all in the same mix. And so worms wriggle around, crawl around, and then they just get in our bare feet, bare feet, in between our toes and upper legs. We wipe them out in the developed world with our modern sewage system, but our flushing toilets may have come at a cost. We've thrown the baby out with the bathwater by throwing the parasites away. It seems as though there's a kind of a symbiotic relationship because we're detecting and finding that actually it, having the worm protects us from certain kinds of infections. Scientists are trying to figure out if getting rid of the human hookworm is behind the rise in autoimmune disease. We have an epidemic. For the past hundred years, we've seen nothing but autoimmune inflammatory diseases where our immune systems turns in on ourselves and starts attacking us. How many Kiwis live with autoimmune diseases? Oh, we figure it would be 20 to 30 percent of the population suffers but an allergic or an inflammatory or autoimmune disease in this population and that can be a lifetime of hell and we don't understand why. We don't know if it's because we're missing our good friends forever, the parasite, and that's what we're about, trying to understand, is there a more complex relationship? We know we can model some of these human conditions in animals, and we see very striking results where I can give a mouse a hookworm, a mouse hookworm species, and it's protected. It's absolutely protected. It's got a robust conditioned immune response, and it's to protected from other bugs. So that just blew me away. For the past 14 months, they've been doing trials on humans. We're trying to establish facts on the ground. What do these worms do and not do? What's myth and what's reality? Because there's a lot of statements out there, there's a lot of anecdotes, but actually, you've got to really get facts. But what role could they be playing inside us that helps us? One, they can provide essential nutrients. Two, they can stimulate parts of our barrier function in, in the gut and actually make good mucus, just rev up the immune system where it needs to be revved up in the local mucosa. And a lot of goodness could be just from the fact that it's a bit stimulated. Would you recommend worm therapy right now? Not until I've got evidence because I'm a scientist and I will not do it based on hope and aspiration. It must be done with hard evidence. Otherwise, I become a snake oil merchant. I think it's good to have all the scientific studies, but to wait for science when, you, when you're just talking about yourself, I don't want to wait 20 years for them to come up with the results. Four in that drop. Todonga's Jane Pucky has been taking worms for three years and reckons self-treaters must take the right worm in just small doses. So just in our family recently, we all took tablets to get rid of worms. Yeah. This seems pretty weird, yeah. Jane. So you had pinworms from a dog? Well, or some want, sort of farm animal. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to go into it too much, but... Because <laughs> you're an itchy butt. <laughs> you don't want those worms. You don't want these worms. No, and you have to take a, a, a drug to get rid of those worms. Yeah. So you don't want them. No, you don't want them. No. Jane, I have the eczema. Yeah, yeah, you said you did, yeah. So you should have some, probably. Do you have some worms on hand? Well, only if you have done a lot of reading around this topic and that you're happy to be a self-treater, because I, I don't want to treat anyone else. Well, You have to take responsibility uh, in yourself. I feel like I've done the research. Just in here like that? Yep, that is perfect. Just five minutes with Nurse Jane. 
and then you just feel a little tingle when they go in. Three human hookworms are burrowing into the skin on my arm. I'm feeling a little bit of a stinging sensation right there, right now. Yep. Oh, it's itchy. What you do is you scratch around there and that relieves that feeling. Yeah, that's good. That's good advice, Jane. Welcome home, little hookworms. We keep that on for four hours. It's way over the top, but just in case there's one left behind. No. People will think I'm back on the methadone program. <laughs> I've never been on the method. <laughs> It'll be weeks or months before I might notice a difference. As for Jane, how good is it getting your old self back? Great, yeah. It's like I just, I just feel I've got a new lease of life. I wish it hadn't taken me 10 years to get there. And what does the future look like for you? Great, lots more dancing. So, scientists at the Maligan Institute of Medical Research say results from the human hookworm study are still several years away. In the meantime, please do consult your doctor before starting any at-home treatments and go through MPI for a permit to import human hookworms.